got some rare Thursday garage sale finds and I've actually just been blown away from what I've just started looking up. I actually picked his garage with him that was full to the brim. Uh, DVDs, VHS, cassettes, uh, audio, electronics. Um, he kind of didn't know where everything was. It was just kind of a mess and he kind of just said, hey, go for it. And this is what we both found together. We first found this NES system. He knew he had it, but it took some time digging and it was uh, in a box, under a box, under a box, under a box, under a box. Uh, it was just dirty. I haven't tested it yet, but everything looks in good condition. I just cleaned it up real quick. We got the power, we got the AV cables, we got two controllers, we have the zapper. Uh, came with the old warranty, came with the zapper manual, came with the poster, and four games with their manuals. Not the greatest games, um, but it is what it is. And I got just the NES system and all the stuff with it for $25. Hopefully if it works and tested, uh, maybe 50, 75 on a good day. He then said he had some Beatles stuff when I asked about records and old audio uh, cassettes and stuff like that. Uh, they aren't in the greatest condition. I paid $5 for both. Each one in good condition sells for $10. Um, I kind of just like them myself. Might end up keeping these or uh, list them together for $10. They're pretty cool Beatles stuff. Um, I really just went into picker mode and just started opening totes and boxes. He did not care. He goes, find what you can find. Um, there were a lot more DVDs and things I could have grabbed. Uh, it was just a dollar a piece, but uh, this is just what I ended up with. Coneheads for my personal collection. Um, a couple horror movies I've seen other people just buying horror that sells. Each of these is around 4 to $5 a piece. Uh, sealed Ghostbusters I thought was just cool and nothing in the real CD department but these were sealed so I grabbed them anyway and this is actually music from it says the Bay Area and I had no idea they didn't scan on eBay uh, both sealed DJ MT a sealed copy sold around $75 nothing on volume 2 and nothing on volume 3 I don't know if this is just crazy rare or just a really crazy niche market. Try to get a little better close up and see. I think it's just local people on this um, Dog Day Records label. I'll try to check it out a little bit more. But uh, maybe a $75 CD sealed. And the only thing I could find for DJMT, one bullet for you two disc combo set here um, is a cassette that is listed for $75 no sold comps on cassettes no sold comps on CDs but it is listed the only one that matches this is a listed cassette sealed for $75 did I hit a home run on some random rap music maybe uh, and everything here the Nintendo the Beatles and everything uh, it was total $35 with 25 coming just from the NES system. On my way home, I saw another sign and I did a double take when it said they were open today on a Thursday. I didn't see anybody else there. They said they had a couple people, but I just kind of went digging and picking. The first thing I saw was this bin. There must be 50 plus sealed McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, and Jack in the Box toys. Uh, I just dug through it. I, I just made a, a blanket offer to the gentleman at $20 for everything uh, in this tub. He counted back at $25, and I, I just went through it as I got home. And there were all these other little goodies. This Pez dispenser, some glass or ceramic figurines. Got Animaniacs, we got Raisinets, we got some Disney stuff. Um, no idea what these miniature bobbleheads are. Um, these two Shrek toys from Wendy's have sold on eBay for around eight to ten dollars a piece. If they're the same Shrek toy, I have almost twenty dollars right there. 
I have this one Pokemon from Omega Ruby with the card sealed. Uh, this is between eight and ten dollars. And I just grabbed and saw Kermit. This is a Jack in the Box uh, toy. Um, the full set of them has sold for seventy-five dollars out of the packaging, and there are two listed at twenty-five dollars a piece. None sold, but two are listed at twenty-five. Um, I haven't seen any of the other uh, characters from the Muppets Take Hollywood, um, but very cool. This this box is ranging from the original Lion King movie toys all the way to Minions. There's some Bean Babies, Puss in Boots. Oh, here's another Pokemon. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice that. There's another one. That one's from Sun and Moon, probably not as good, but there is another card in there. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, just a whole bunch to go with my other collection of McDonald's toys. Toy Story 4, Transformers. Uh, they just a wide range of toys. Uh, yeah, Ninja Turtles. Uh, again, Raisinets. These bobbleheads, all these toys were in this tote for $25. I then, for a dollar a piece, got a uh, Disney tie and two Looney Tune ties, dollar a piece. The Skylanders for the game and all the Skylander toys. Sorry, it's a little dark. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen of them in the tower. I know the tower's going around $15. I haven't even looked up the toys themselves, but all of them were $15. We've got three Popeye plushies, a dollar a piece, Sylvester and Elmer Fudd. I just looked up this Elmer Fudd. Without this tag, he sold at $25. Didn't find Sylvester, and maybe $20, $25 for the three Popeyes. This is the Nickelodeon 2014 Ninja Turtle shirt. That's around $10. I did get a SpongeBob gold, a little gold book. Gonna make the collection, didn't even know they had SpongeBob. Uh, not Goosebumps, but Fear Street, R.L. Stein. This is around a $10 book. Uh, you see the Wii here, but we'll go to the Reese's hat next. Couldn't find this exact one with the Kevin Hardwick hat. But uh, one like it is around twenty-five dollars with the flames, and then I saw this Wii. She wanted. Uh, she started around twenty dollars, I believe, for the Wii. I saw Animal Crossings. Sorry for the glare. I knew that was around a fifteen to twenty dollar game. World of Wild Things are obviously just nothing great, and then Calling. I had no idea what Calling was until I got in the car. And looked it up. It had a uh, sticker, so I couldn't scan it from a uh, GameStop. But Calling is a fifty to sixty dollar game. S it's selling at that rate, and it sold sealed at eighty. This is complete with the book and game. Good condition. Haven't even tested the Wii yet, but everything was. Uh, and Rock Candy controller, not a, not the. Original controllers for the Wii, but they're still around fifteen and ten dollars a piece. Um, so I kind of put all this together with the twenty-five dollars for this, uh, the fifteen and fifteen, and everything else, and we rounded it to sixty dollars. So sixty dollars for that garage sale and thirty-five for the other, um, right around uh, ninety-five dollars. I'm going to get that if I just sell the calling at a couple of these toys. Sell the Wii by itself for 30 bucks. I could drop it real slow. Same thing for the NES. Or I might get it for just maybe one of these CDs if I throw it up for $100 and someone really wants them. Who knows? Uh, so Thursday, rare garage sale find. Some crazy stuff stuff I've never seen, rare toys, rare plushies, adding to my Skylanders collection that I'm trying to sell, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo NES, a hat that could be $30, 
uh, and toys galore to go with all my other ones that I'm going to be putting together over the winter and trying to sell off in mass. So, obviously on a Thursday I did not have my camera with me to pick this.